I said I was going to come back and show you some of the some of the inside features, but I thought I should also uh, set this up and just show you. This is this is the grill. Um, works extremely well. It connects to the gas that's already the propane tank that you saw in the front, and it just comes out here and hooks in right here. Easy. Um, also, there's storage under there, an immense amount of storage. I'll show you it from the inside, actually. And some stair covers, which we haven't properly secured, but they're there. So inside, we've, we've opened up all the windows just to kind of give you an idea what it would look like on a nice summer day. Very bright and airy in here. In fact, um, you can even slide almost every window open and you have the protection of a, of a screen so you don't have to worry about the bugs coming in but you can get excellent airflow through you can also turn on this fantastic fan the fantastic fan can either suck air out or blow air air in depending on what your pleasure is um, you raise it or lower it it's in the lock position right now for travel so um, i can't raise it but a refrigerator um, i believe it's 18 cubic feet but that sounds awfully high, so that's probably not right. It's a it's a tri triway refrigerator. It runs either on propane, it runs on electricity if you're hooked up to City Electric, or it runs on the battery. So it's nice. You can put your food in it before you're traveling, and um, it'll run while you're uh, while you're driving. It'll keep everything cold, so it's all set up when you get to where you're going. Inside, there's a I'd say pretty ample freezer that works extremely well too for um, for a, a camper the heater um, all the controls to turn everything on this is the control for the heater the heater runs on propane a little microwave with a microwave um, safe cover in there for your dishes so you don't have splatter additional storage underneath your sink which this is the sink Easy to operate, flip it up, turn the water on. Comes with a six gallon water tank. Indoor, two burner stove. Operates on propane. Over on this side, we have the cassette toilet I was referring to that we haven't used. Uh, simply open up the top, open up the door, flip the, the toilet around, use it, add chemicals to it. Um, A-liner manuals, uh, manual for the toilet, storage, additional storage down here with with some slide-out drawers. There's another drawer that I don't have in there right now, but we have that. We have um, some LED lights that we mounted in there as well. Um, back here you'll see electrical outlets. You'll actually see those throughout. There's a couple here, there's a couple here, and there's a couple up front underneath the table. I'll show you this first. This is um, a couch if you just feel like relaxing. Ample headroom because of the bubble glass, I don't know, whatever they call that. An LED light for nighttime, which I have the battery off right now so I can't show it, but there's an LED light front and back. It provides a decent amount of light. On both sides we have these swing up tables, so if you need a little bit more storage. I actually worked from here for a week. Um, it was fine. I had. Uh, Wi-Fi hotspot and um, I worked right here and it was a great way to get work and vacation at the same time. Down at this end we have a four seat dining room table which is now set up. This also folds down into a uh, twin and I, which I didn't show you in the back, um, I could rather quickly, it, that folds down into a queen. So um, we've had four people in here. I would say it's probably not comfortable for four people. Three people's about, three adults is about the most you can have comfortably in here. So this just simply pops up, folds down, and there you have it. Um, there's some exterior safety light over here next to the fire extinguisher and the stereo. And back here, I, I was Alluding, this turns into a bed. It's so easy to turn into a bed. You simply slide that out, put that down, put that down, kind of like that. Just push them down in place.
Put your linens on. I think I'm ready to take a nap. Ah. Ah. Can you wake me up when this is over? Ah. Okay. I'm getting the move on sig signal. There you have it. Oh, one more thing I forgot to show you. These easy curtains to um, put down, clasp in place. They're all the way around, so you can do that easy. It makes it very dark in here. Um, they're, I guess you could call them darkening shades and until um, morning time. And also, we have some shades over here, which I forgot to sh show you, front and back. Just simply push those up. A little bit of privacy. These, not quite as darkening as the other shades. All right, there you have it. I hope this becomes your camper.